Hello, thank you for joining me today. I'm going to show you how to make some lemon ricotta poppy seed scones. I've got my oven preheating to 325. In a large bowl, I'm going to do two and a half cups of almond flour or 280 grams. I like to weigh mine, I just think it's more accurate. And I keep my stuff in the freezer keep my almond flour in the freezer so it's going to be clumpy but it'll thaw as I get the rest of the ingredients together and then it won't be clumpy anymore to that I'm going to add a third cup of allulose a full tablespoon of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon salt so I got all my other ingredients ready. I'm just going to run a fork through this real quick. Now I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients. I'm never sure how much to add. So let's say, let's see what half a teaspoon or half a tablespoon of poppy seeds looks like. This is a half cup of whole milk ricotta. This is my very, very favorite kind. This is like, I literally eat this by the spoonful. Um, ingredients, pastured whey, cream, milk, vinegar, and salt. I love that it's very, very simple ingredients. Two eggs, half teaspoon of lemon extract and half teaspoon of vanilla extract because honestly, I think vanilla extract goes in everything. And give it a little stir stir. Oh my word, that smells so good. All right, I think streaks are all out. Now let's tie it. it's time to shape it. So you wanna line a baking dish either with parchment paper or this is a non-stick baking mat. Honestly, this dough is a bit too sticky to shape it into scones, the classic scone shape. So I think what I'm going to do is um, make it into a biscuit shape. Don't want them to be too thick because I want them to bake through. There, my perfectly normal looking scones are ready to go into the oven for about 25 minutes. Well, let's see if it's 25 minutes. So original recipe said 25 minutes. Uh, I did 23 minutes. I think these could even go on for about 20 minutes. So I'm gonna make some glaze to go on them and then we'll try them out. So the glaze is going to be a tablespoon of lemon juice, quarter cup, of powdered sweetener and then quarter teaspoon vanilla. And that is it. I like to put them on the scones when they're still a little bit warm just so it kind of soaks in. I'm debating on which method I want to do. Do I want to brush them or dunk them? Let's try dunking. Let's see what happens. Ooh. Dunking all the smaller ones. All right, taste test. Ooh. That is so soft. Very, very tender. Mmm. The ricotta makes it really moist. Mmm. So I definitely would bake these less, but it doesn't really matter. They're still amazing. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Bye!